Hello, FPV community. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up your TBS Crossfire Nano and utilize its Bluetooth capabilities to go to your SpeedyB Android application. Welcome to the FPV Workbench, Episode 1. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make a connection from channel 3 and channel 4 on your Nano to an open aux port on your flight controller. Now for my connection, I've chosen TX1 and RX1. So we'll go and make a connection from channel 3 to TX1 and from channel 4 to RX1. All right. So if you look here in my flight controller, I've chosen TX1, brown, and uh, I've chosen uh, RX1, orange. All right, see, brown, orange, brown, orange. All right. And uh, for reference down here, for standard hookup of your Nano, I have uh, chosen RX TX3, all right, and uh, 5 volt and ground, all right, just for reference, of course. All right. So now, over on your Nano, you'll see that, again, my orange is going to be channel 4, all right, and the brown is going to be channel 3. So let's point this out. Let's look on the back here. Nice clean solder joints. And okay, again, channel three. Okay, it's going to be right here. And channel four. And remember, channel four is orange. Channel three is brown. Real simple. Nothing crazy. Orange right here. See? Channel four. And the brown is channel three. All right? Very important. Just for illustration, channel 3, TX1, channel 4, RX1. Simple. To pass through is what it is for communication. So now, with your quad power on and connected to your radio, you'll see we have a solid green light indicating that we're connected and we have a solid signal on our radio showing good, good signal. Solid green light on the back, very important. So now what we're going to do is hold down the button for three seconds to get into the general tab. Under the General tab, you're going to want to go over to the Bluetooth module setting and change that from Off to Bridge. And once you do that, you can back out of it and we'll get to the next menu. The next menu will be for the Nano. So now what you're going to do is you're going to hold down your button for three seconds so you can get into the sub-menu. In the sub-menu, you're going to want to select your Nano. It's going to load up for you and uh, give you some settings here. Now under General, you're going to want to select your output map. Now go down to Output 4, which is Channel 4, which is going to be our orange, and change that to a Serial TX. Now as you change that, since we didn't change Channel 3, it'll change automatically and show you Serial, uh, serial um, RX. So we have Serial RX Channel 3, Serial TX Channel 4. Very good, very good, very good. We're almost done. So I'm going to check a couple other little things here real quick. Make sure we're, we're good, we're running. Excellent, everything everything looks good. Good signal, 10 milliwatts, no complaints. So now let's move on to the next. What are we going to do next? Well, next we're going to get into uh, Betaflight. And we're going to make sure that we have the uh, proper ports set up for communication. Now again, we, we chose uh, RXTX1. So what we'll do is we're going to load up Betaflight and uh, connect it with USB cable to your flight controller. We'll want to connect. I have a good connection. We'll go over to the ports tab. Now remember, TXRX1, so that'll be UART1. So make the little click. Now it's important that you select the baud rate. Make sure that's 57.6. Any other setting, uh, I think it leads to some handshake issues, so we don't want that. Save and reboot. And once you're done, go ahead and close out of uh, Betaflight. So we've made the necessary configurations. We're good to go to the next page. Next page here will be the Speedy Bee application. Uh, at the top, you'll have a little gear icon. You want to click on that. It'll give you another little menu. You select on the Bluetooth. And uh, you'll want to select your crossfire that'll be in the menu. Once you click that, it's really fast. Uh, you'll turn, you'll look, and boom, you're connected. 
We can verify that by moving our quad around. It's pretty gosh darn responsive. Really simple, really easy. Um, the folks over at uh, SpeedyB have done an excellent job. Again, I wish I could support further by uh, making a donation or something, but we can't do that. Um, as you're all familiar with the tabs that are available in standard uh, Betaflight, everything's the same, just a little bit uh, different looking. Really simple, really quick, simple, fast, simple, fast. We like that. And you don't have the added weight of an extra uh, Bluetooth modem so you can do the connection. So save yourself some weight, save yourself some money, and have fun in the field doing the pro-level adjustments in real time without the use of a laptop and all that other jazz. So have fun. Happy FPV dreams. Be safe. Don't crash. Stay away from the COVID virus. And I'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Peace.